Hello and welcome to kicking off with Blackburn Rovers of the Championship with your host, the Philosopher24. And we have made a miserable start. Yes, I'm under pressure. We have only won one in five championship games, which leaves us bottom of the table. Yes, it's very disappointing and I'm very annoyed. I don't want to blame it on the beta because I don't think it is down to the beta. If it is it down to me, I'm not sure. It's just, is it down to the Blackburn Rovers aren't a good team on the game? Is it because we've had loads of injuries? Is it because my tactic's not very good? It's, this could be down to a whole reason, a whole different, whole difference, uh, whole various amount of reasons. So as you know, we beat Wolves on the first day of the season, 2-0, and we did have two people sent off, Jason Lowe and Hope Akpan, which is absolutely not good enough, but we did beat them, which was very good. And then after that, we went to Oldham in the first round of the Capital Cup, Capital Cup, what, uh, Capital One Cup first round, and we beat them 2-1 after Curtis' own goal in the 99th minute of extra time. But we did go down 1-0 in the 4th minute, and we did get another sending off. Yes, you're going to see a, a reoccurrence here. Then after that, we lost to Huddersfield away 1-0 with a Jason Steele own goal. I'll show you it if I can, or oh, I can't click on that. That's something I've noticed. So just have a look at the replay. Oh, is the sound on? I'll just turn the sound off. So, view highlights, goals. This is what happened. <sighs> Patterson took it to Whitehead to Juan Carlos who but yeah, 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 that happened. So that was very annoying. And then you're going to see Cardiff. We lost one nil with two sending offs. Jason Lau and Grant Hanley. I do not know if it's a players or if the game is broken and it keeps it's too harsh or it, it, I don't know, but. I don't think we even had um, tackle harder on this game after I realised it was happening. So two nil and a one nil. I'm gonna. Sh I'll show you the goal. It was a penalty. Macheda had to score it, didn't he? Cardiff made it one nil. Yep. The next game was Brighton away and we lost two nil. Tom Hemed and Andrew Crofts getting on the score sheet. I'll show you the goals. <sighs> Yeah, you can see I'm a bit down because it's, it's annoying because I, I really was looking forward to doing a Blackburn save. And hopefully if we do win today against Fulham, we will win. And that that was a... F we will win and we hope we'll go on to win some more games and keep our job safe. So another fluky goal in defence from Hemed. Andrew Croft, I think it was another sloppy goal. Was it? Yep, it was. It was a, it was a rebound, so... <sighs> but after that, we did have a bit of luck, and we won in the second round of the Capital Cup, Capital One Cup, second round, with Tom Lawrence and Nathan Delfonso getting on the score sheet for the first time. They've been very unlucky, these two, but they managed to score today, or oh, not today, but when we played them. At this point, I thought we were going to turn a corner, because I don't think we had a sending off for a while. Lawrence's goal was good. So I thought we were going to... Start picking up some points after this with a win, hopefully, but no, we didn't. I'll show you in a minute what happened. That was a great goal as well. Let me just show you their goal from Daniel Johnson. I think it was another sloppy-ish goal. Was it? Oh, yep, it was a fluky as it came off number two. Who was Guthrie. Bolton, we lost 2-0 at home. Neil Downs and Darren Prattley, ex Swansea player, getting on the score sheet. And then again, another two sendings off. Two. Let me just show you John O'Sullivan's sending off. I do not know what it's for. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But yeah, Neil Downs, 49th minute. D -d 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 yep, good goal there. And then Prattley, 78th. Let's have a look. I think it was a header. Yep, it was a leaping header. So that leaves us in 
last position with three points with one win in five, which is not very good. But I have to say, the game is very, very good still. I, I It's taking a tiny bit of getting used to, but it's I find it really good. It's really fun to play still, which is always a good thing. There's still a little, some tweaks I would like to see in the game, but that's normal. I will probably email, or it says please report any issues to Community Side Games. But yes, I'll probably do that soon. But otherwise, it's been great. It's actually been a really fun game to play. Um, let's have a look at the analysis, as I did show, tell you I would show you. So this is one of the new features with ProZone. These are the shot accuracy, so let's go for numbers, or percentages. Most of our shots end up here, in this position, left bottom left and then we've only we've had yeah I, I, I like this it actually shows pretty much where you score the most that's how many how many times have we hit the crossbar we haven't hit the crossbar as much as I thought so I can't blame it on unluckiness um, what else we've we got matches if you have a look at this let's pick a match um, let's go for the let's go for one we won let's go for the Preston one to have a look at so this doesn't generate the match report. So we can have a look at, say, scoring chances, half chances. Who was? We can have a look. Nathan Fonzu had a half chance. Tom Lawrence had a half chance, and again Nathan Fonzu had another half chance. So that was that. Um, let's have a look at average positions. Uh, with all oh, eyes, and it's not working. Why is that not working? Let's have a look at positional heat map then. Instead. So, yeah. Wow, we, we played more down the I'm trying to think, right wing than we did down the left. If I'm correct. So this is interesting. You can have a look if we have a go, like, say, six, 76 minutes in. We played, yeah, similar to before. But if you look there, we played lots on the right wing. Let's have a look at the first half. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's have another look at one more thing. Passing, let's go intercepted and out of play. So, kind of a range, mostly going forward, we're losing out on the ball, but there's a few, I think it's mostly in the centre from wingers and from goal kicks, so that I might change something up there. But yeah, I really like this, I can have a look at, ta um, uh, uh, I'll, I can have a look at the analysis after games and see where we went wrong. Obviously I haven't been doing that well enough, therefore we've been losing, of course. But with no further ado, we'll go into the crunch match, crunch match against Fulham, who are 22nd. A win would take us up to 17th, I think it would. It should do, or it would take us probably to 18th or 19th out of the relegation zone. But let's go to the tactics. I'm going to go with Jason Steele in goal, Henley as a wing back, Shane Duffy. I think Grant Hanley's going to come in still with Shane Duffy. Spur. Now I'm going to put in. I'm going to put in uh, Olsen because he's played all right. Conway staying in, Guthrie staying in. Hope Akpan he might come out for. Hmm. We might see come out for. Wait, where's Evans? Oh, Evans quite injured, so I'm going to keep a hope. Pack fan in. One midfielder. I've got to play a Mark Edgar there. Or can I swap? No, I'm going to play Mark Edgar there because I think he's been really well and I think he got his first call up for the Northern Ireland under 21s. And I think he's played very well, apparently. So, yes, I'll put him in the squad today. Um, target, mon target man support, support will be Foddy Kuiper, Kuiper. Um and then of course Jordan Rhodes up front. I think that is a team I shall be going out with. It looks okay to me. Just fix the bench a bit because I like it to be a bit organised. So there is the bench, there is the team, our strike King 2 haven't played much but they are our best strikers so we can only hope for the best.
So I really like that tactic page. It looks much clearer, and I'm loving the the way that they present it. One thing I'm not a big fan on is how th there's no like I don't I don't like that. I think there needs to be like something that defines it from the pitch, their names and their the way they're playing. It looks a bit wishy washy, you could say. Um, opposition instructions look the same. So I'm going to do Terry McPhillips as our person to do that, and I'm going to say nobody fancies. Oh, we, oh, we've been on a good bad run, so let's get out of it. I have the faith. I have the faith, which seems to still work. And I go to key with not a lot of time between highlights. Yeah, I think games are longer now. I don't know why, but this seems to be going on for longer. So, Olsen. That's the end of that highlight. Steele plays it up to Rhodes, who finds Koita. He finds Conway. Can he burst down the wing? He tries to, but he passes it to Henley. But Hydeman is there to intercept, but Buckley gets tackled. Yep, and Conway wins it. Coiter gets it to Guthrie, finds Coiter, finds Olsen. Can he get the ball in? He tries to, but Hydeman's there, and Christiansen tries to take the ball away. Stearman to Buckley. He runs through the middle of the pitch to Mylita, to McCormack, who tries the shot, and it is saved by Steele. Garbutt with the um, resulting corner. Duffy tackles McCormack, tries to get it up to Rhodes, but he's couldn't get it down. <sighs> All right, start I guess. So we, we apparently we should encourage more long balls, but we are encouraging long balls. <sighs> Two shots so far. Conway with the corner. Woodrow, and it's an own goal. We had a bit of luck there, and we have taken that little bit of luck with Claudie Woodrow. Scoring an own goal. This could be the turnaround in our season. I sure hope it is, as I really don't want to get sacked again. That would be twice in three series. That is not a good record, but hopefully we can we can build from this. I know I know I might be hyping it up too much, but come on. Come on, Blackburn. So we're looking good. Hmm. They do get lots of teams do get lots of possession in our in our half, and it's not good sometimes. So, almost half time. Not been a lot of highlights. I might just chop swap it to extended again. I don't know, but yeah, it's been even as in this match, and we have come out on top. Hopefully, in in this half, I might just change it to control. Maybe give it a, be a bit risky more. Be a bit more risky. <laughs> so I'm gonna say I'm very happy with that so far. Calmly, things are going well, but. I know you're capable of better, passionately. You weren't bad, but I have the faith. I might take off Akpan and bring on Lee Williamson for a bit of experience, I think. So, they kick off. I might... Yeah, I will change the extended. Conway receives the ball, but nothing comes of it. Uh, we have a free kick, but it comes back out to McCormack. McCormack has time to run and space to run into. He does find Hydeman, who finds Garbutt, but is tackled by Henley. Can he find Coiter? He does. There's no one up there with him except Rhodes. Can he find a good pass? He does. He finds Edgar. Can he get the ball in? And Conway is there to put it back in the net. It's 2 0. That's his third goal of the season. And that sends us up to 18th with its 2 0 at Craven Cottage. What a goal. What a game. Edgar. He is brilliant, and Conway, he is brilliant as well, even though he's gone off the boil. I might I might play Edgar more often, because O'Sullivan's injured. Might be a little opening in for him. Carney to Christiansen. Finds Buckley. He tries a long shot. He finds Woodrow, and Woodrow is there to score and makes it 2-1. Uh, I think he might have been offside. I'm not so sure. Was he offside? Oh, what, what kind of playing is that? Duffy, you need to be... Mm. Not good, not good. It's 2-1. Olsen finds Edgar. He finds, tries to find Coita, but Burgess is there to intercept. Buckley to Carney. Stearman, but Olsen is there. Hydeman, oh my god, come on. Buckley to McCormack. Oh my god, it's 2-2. Two -two. Why can't we defend properly? We cannot defend. 
Look. That's offside. Come on. Am I just going blind or was that offside? I want to have another look at that. That was straight from kickoff. Oh, sorry. I've just gone too far back, I think. So, oh, sorry. Come too far back. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to show you again. Oh, come on. We had a bloody 2 0 lead. I mean, a bloody throw it away, didn't we? Conway puts it inside the rose and he's made it 3 2. God, there's been a mixture of emotions in this match. There sure has. Rose scores his first goal of many, hopefully. Wow, I was just like really sad then, and now I'm really happy. It's Rhodes 3 2. We got a bit of luck there again. Rhodes, that's what I want to see more of. Garbutt. But Olsen is there. Rhodes tries to find Koita, but he can't. I might put Koita as attacking. I might, because I think he's almost playing a bit too far, far back and he's not really supporting in a way. <laughs> Stearman tries to find McCormack, but Steele saves. Sorry if that's in the way. I, I, can I put it on that side? No, it's doing the same thing. So I'll put it there, actually. Koita finds Rhodes. Oh, his touch was a bit poor, but it's still there. Williamson. And he gets the throw in. We're playing all right. We're playing all right. Conway, I might just take Conway off because I don't want him to get injured. Who can I take him off for though? Oh, there's no one. Mm, come on, there will be someone. <sighs> I might just put Lawrence. I don't know. I'll put him on attack. Maybe. I don't know. Steel, oh, I didn't see that because of that, but I think that was a bit of a sloppy pay in the middle. See, I think there's a bit too much action from extended to key. There's like, on key, you basically don't get anything, but in extended, you get like all of it, which I might, I might like put in an email to them. And I might just put back on key and say, passionately encouraged to the team and put it back on. Standard. Because we're playing alright, we're playing alright. Henley. Crap pass, but come on, Steele, don't muck it up there. Henley tries to find Quater, he can't, but Guthrie's there to Edgar. Olsen finds Quater, but Carney is there. Hydman to Christiansen. Williamson, oh, come on. Woodrow, Duffy is there to great tackle there. Edgar finds Rhodes. He's on the move. Rhodes is on the move to Edgar, to Koita, and that's 4-2. Four Foddy Koita is there to score his first goal of the season. Wow, we were scoring more. I mean, we didn't score any in the past few games, but now we've scored four in one game. It either shows that we this is our best striking partnership, or we have Fulham are just really bad, I don't know. <laughs> Cavan, Cavan, Buckley, Hydman, Woodrow, find McCormack, oh come on, where is the defending, he makes it bloody 4-3, I need to sort out defending somehow, I don't know what is going wrong, I might have a player sit deep, like have Evans as a centre defensive midfielder, let me, let me do that now actually, while I think about it, and put someone there like on a defensive defend role. I don't know, that might work, because I think there's a gap, and gaps aren't good. <laughs> wow, Edgar's played brilliantly today. They try and get it across in. Hyman, Koita, gets it to Rhodes, finds Edgar, finds Williamson, who tries to find Koita, but Stearman is there. Woodrow to Buckley, oh, we're all over the place. Olsen finally gets the interception, finds Edgar, finds Koita. Who can he find? He finds Lawrence, who cuts inside, but he overlaps to Henley. Henley, come on, cross the ball. Koita, Koita again. Oh, and it's a foul by Koita. Come on. I was going to say assertively, concentrate. Concentrate. You must concentrate, guys, because we could be putting, picking up three points here if we're, if we're safe. And I don't... Oh, my God, Koita's injured. Why? Well, there's been so many flipping injuries. Again, this... I don't know what's going on injuries wise. It feels unrealistic again. The amount of injuries this team has had. 
I know he's got bad match fitness and maybe I should have taken him off, but come on. He's been done brilliantly. And can we secure the three points? We do. It's 4-3 at Craven Cottage. Blackburn 3. No, Blackburn 4. Fulham 3. And I'm very happy about that. I'm proud of the performance. And they all seem extremely delighted. That's a result we needed. That sends us, to, sends us up to 19th place. Something we can build on. We are five points off 7th place. Which is... No, no, we're five points off 6th place. So that's where the playoff starts. We can get there if we put our heads down. I, I'm, th I'm think we want to finish top half this season. We're not going down. Hopefully, if we get more results, we'll be more safe. But at the moment, it's still a bit dodgy. But after that win, it, I feel a bit more confidence. Okay, Coit is out for six to seven days. I'll leave him to the physio. And Craig Conway is out for nine to ten days. It's not fair. It's actually not fair. And the fans are jubilant. Slade's been spotted at Craven Cottage. Who wants Craig Conway? That is a bit of a mouthful. But yes, I leave you with a result of 4-3 away to Fulham. I'll leave you in 19th place, which is better. I've been the Philosopher24, and I'm out.